Hello and welcome everyone. In this CVT, I will show you how to install and configuring a Windows Server 2012 as a print server. My virtual lab consists of a Windows 10 workstation, a Server 2012 Active Directory domain controller, and a also a Server 2012 R2 file server, which is going to become my print server. Let's go over to the uh, file server and click on the Survey Manager. Once in the Survey Manager dashboard, we can add a role from the Configure Local Server, Add Roles and Features, which is option number two, or we can go to the uh, Manage menu and click Add Roles and Features. Let's Add Roles and Features. The Air Rolls in Feature Wizard will come up, then click Next. Let's select the first option, which is Role Based and Feature Based Installation. Configure a single server by adding roles or roles, services, and features. So let's click Next. Select the server. Since this is the only server, we're going to highlight it and click Next. And then we have to select uh, a Print and Document Services and click Add Features, then click Next. The next option, the role services, here is where we're going to select Print Server, which by default should be already checked, but if not, just select Print Server and then click Next. Click Next, and the installation will start. This will take Depending on the speed of your machine, it might take up to 10 minutes or 5 minutes, 5 to 10 minutes. The installation succeeded on cvtsrvfs.cvtmaster.com. Our role has been installed. Now, under the role and server group, we can see a new tab. It says print services. Let's go to uh, tools and click on uh, print management. Under the print server, let's click on a CVTFS, which is our local server, and then click on printers. You can see that it's nothing there. Um, let's click on driver. We're going to add a new driver. Click next. Select your architecture. In my case, I will select 64 and click next. I click have a disk. I will browse through my system until I, I find the uh, driver that I need and then click open click ok now scroll down and f find your printer my printer is here and click next and then click finish remember though we are installing the drivers not the printer so the first step is to install once you install the role we're going to have to install the print drivers Now the print driver has been installed. Now it's time to add the printer. Click on printers, right click, add printer. In the printer installation wizard, select add a TCP IP or web services printed by IP. I will select this and type in type of device will be auto detect and also auto detect and I will type my IP address or host name. In my case, I will type the IP address. Click Next. Now it's time to name our printer. I will name mine M MFC-J280W and I will share it with the same name. You can type a location, comment, department, etc. Click Next. 
and click finish. This will take a little time, maybe like a minute or two. Our installation is complete. If we click on printer, you can see that we have the additional printer that we named. On the drivers, that's the driver that we just installed. Let's get out of the printer manager. Now let's go over to the client machine, which is a Windows 10 workstation. Notice that this machine is already joined the domain CVT master. Click on start and or run. On the search box, type backslash backslash CVT dash SRV dash FS backslash. And our printer is right there. So this is the printer that we want to connect. So right click the printer and click connect. Say so install driver. Now it's installing the driver from the server down to the workstation. Uh, since we are logging with a regular domain, with a regular domain user, we have to approve the installation. In other words, you have to have a administrator rights in order for you to install drivers on this workstation. Click next. Now our print is being installed. Let's double check and see if the printer got successfully installed onto the workstation. And voila, our printer has been installed successful. To verify that the Windows 10 workstation was member of the domain, let's go to the uh, system properties. And you can see the domain. This concludes the tutorial on how to install a print server role on a Windows Server 2012 R2. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe.